Good morning. I'm Denise Dryden. I'm here um, in Montana doing my weekly Sunday morning video. And today I want to talk about sort of this chaotic energy that's going on out there. And, you know, like, <laughs> it's out there, right? It's affecting you. It's affecting your kids. It's affecting your partner. It's affecting your environment. And you're like, I, every time I think it's going to calm down, it starts up again. And it kind of makes sense because we're going through some massive changes. We've got, you know, I'm just, I just made a list of some of the stuff that was going on. And it's like, well, you know, there's all these global tensions with lockdowns, uh, releasing protests, stuff like that going on. We've got in the United States, we've got election recounts. Um, we've got heat waves. We've got massive fires. I'm here in Montana and I cannot see the mountain range that is the ski hill, which is just right across the lake um, because of all the smoke. Uh, I've talked to some friends who've been traveling and their, their, their response is the service industry isn't back up. And so everybody's shorthanded and they're cranky and there's cancellations and delays and confusions. And you know, like we are just not going back um, to some of the stuff that we were thinking we wanted, you know, was just gonna like magically appear in June, July, August when we were free to start um, exploring and getting out there. You know, we do want this to stop. We want this to go away. We want all of this chaos around us to go away. So I have some of these cards and, and you know, to me, this is what the chaos looks like. It's, you know, there's cities, there's there's frenzy, there's all sorts of um, static and waves. And it's kind of like, I'm having a really hard time focusing on myself, on how I'm supposed to, to walk, to, to, to think, to breathe through all of this. And you know, what we do, what's natural is we want it to go back to what we know. We want it to go back to what we um, can count on. And I'm here to say, I don't think it's going to. And so let's look at some tools on how to understand this chaotic energy and start to partner with it. So first and foremost, um, you know, I do bring astrology into this because it's starting to affect um, us in ways that it's showing up consistently in my coaching. So I've been coaching families and young adults and families of teens for a long time now. And, you know, it once I start charting some of what's going on with the stars, it makes a lot more sense when things start to bubble up. So we've got five planets in retrograde. Retrograde means that it's contrary. It's going backwards. It's acting um, different than it usually does, right? Um, Chiron, which is, I did um, a session on, or a, a discussion on Chiron two weeks ago, is also retrograde. So it went from out there, whatever's going on, to right smack inside of us. You know, like, what are you feeling? What are you experiencing? We had the full moon in Aquarius. Here's Aquarius. She's the water carrier. So she's a mental air card, but she also carries water. So it's where our thoughts and our emotions have to be blended together. The age of Aquarius, you know, this is quite interesting. The star card, Aquarius, um, the water bearer, right? So what all of this means is that we are in a chaotic, unpredictable, destabilized state. And what it does is it brings up, what if I'm wrong? What if I read it right? A lot of self-judgment, a lot of self-doubt, um, questioning yourself and questioning others. Like, mm, did I get that right? Or what's wrong with them? So it's both, you know, pushing and pulling internally, externally. So what else can you kind of throw into this mix? For a second, just, just, just think, what else am I experiencing? Because I've got these different versions of the tower card which i've showed you before well this is the tower and this is the tower in osho and this is the tower in um the crowley deck and it's kind of like when the ex and when the external starts throwing lightning bolts down on you and and things have to leave things have to change right in this one it's when there's fire and there's sun and there's light and it's like stirring everything up so I think that's kind of where we are we're also in Leo season which is when the Sun comes in and starts to really like uh, intensify things right so what else can you think of what else is hitting you while I'm talking we also have some things like school starting in a couple of weeks for some depending on what part of the country you're on, this talk about Delta variants. And so what we're being asked to do is evaluate what serves us, 
what doesn't serve us, what works now and what no longer works. Because um, as of March, March 2020, what we've been doing is we've been learning to do without, we've been adjusting, we've been adapting, we've been, we've been um, afraid, we've been worried, we've been hopeful, and we want all this to stop and go back to normal. And what I'm thinking is that as the world is, is moving forward, as some of these things are crumbling, we have some work to do because, um, and I came up with this card, which is like there's all this debris floating around. And so we're not done. We're not done sort of breaking things open and navigating through this debris. So um, I thought about the Prince and Princess of Swords in this Thoth deck, um, in the Crowley deck. And on this one, she's standing on top of sort of old foundation pieces and she's swinging her sword at, at trying to sort of like break it apart and go towards this, this light up here. And with him, you know, he's navigating um, all of this, this white, um, yellow diamond light forward, but he's got all these little minions, which are old conditionings, taking him forward, trying to force him to go you know, where he doesn't want to go. And so he's got his sword up and he's slashing at them and saying, you know, I don't want these old thoughts. I don't want these old ways. I need something new. And she's sort of like crumbling all of it and fighting for something new. So the both of them are bringing in some energy. And I, 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 I thought they were, they were a good example of sort of what we're facing, right? What we're dealing with. So I've got some tips. And before I went through some tips, I thought I would come up with two examples that I used with my clients this week. The first one was that, you know, I'm a historian, so sometimes I'll go to, you know, whether it is being on a clipper ship um, <laughs> in the 17, 16, 17, 1800s, you know, trying to get across the Atlantic Ocean. It was like a two or three month journey, right? It was, it was not easy. Or what was it like to leave in the early spring and try to get over the Rockies going on the westward movement with a horse and a wagon? So what I think about is that there are times when it's going really well and you're in your system and it's working. And then there are times when something unexpected, whether it's an enormous storm out in the middle of the ocean where everything's rocking and you're not sure you're going to make it, you think you're going to die and you have to sort of adapt to it as it's going on. And then once it's over, you're like, I didn't think I was ever going to make it. And that's when you do the, the repairs. You look around, what works, what doesn't work? What, where am I now? What do I need to do to prepare for that to happen again? Because on an ocean crossing, something like that could happen one, two, three times, or you could be in it the whole time. If you're on a um, cross country trek going west, you hit storms, you hit locusts, you hit no water, you hit broken equipment, you, you, you hit disease, um, death. And so it's kind of like what happens when I'm moving something forward and I hit an obstacle and it's overwhelming and everything's going wrong and I don't know what to do and it feels super chaotic. Okay, so that's one, that's one of the examples. The other one is usually when I'm talking, there's this little train, you know, noise that little, it's not necessarily little, that comes on. And, you know, I moved up to a little summer place that's about 500 yards from the train tracks. And so there's loud noises, there's horns, there's brakes, there's the snapping together of rail train uh, cars. And I've noticed that some people who live down here love it. And some people who live down here are agitated every single time the train goes by and it's kind of like how do you partner with it how do you become aware that you are in the midst of something and it's not going to go away so you learn how to balance yourself so here are some tips that i came up with okay um first is to assess take stock use your observation skills you know what's going on you know what's different and you sort of notice, you know, this is not going to stop. So how do I feel right now? How do I find my rhythm in this? You know, how do I stabilize myself? So um, I have this card here, which is how do I start to ignore everything that's going out and find out what my own inner stability is, right? This is the Four of Cups. Um, I love that card. So how do I stay active and present? Which is using all of my senses all of my skills to open up and read what's going on and to start collecting data right number two 
is to assess. So to, to, to um, or to, excuse me, the first one to is, is to assess. The second one is to access. Access all of these tools that you have built over the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you know, years, right? 60 years, where it's your degrees, it's your training, it's your job experiences, it's the challenges that you faced. All of these tools that you have learned and you wanna bring them in and you wanna bring them to the surface and sort of spread them out. What do I know how to do? What did I learn in school? What did I learn on the teams I played in? What do I learn? What did I learn when I'm traveling? What works, what doesn't work? What books, what movies? What degrees do I have? And you start to look at them and go, wait a minute, I know how to travel real light. Like for instance, for me, wait a minute, I know how to camp and camping in the summer is so easy so easy because you can you can sit you can put, move your kitchen outside you can work on a grill you can work on things so when when electricity goes out when there's challenges it's like i can go sit on my paddleboard in the lake when i'm overwhelmed and just and just let the water calm me down these are things that i learned when i was a little girl how do i bring those to the surface now so access your tools and then take all these tools number three and you blend and you co-create these new skills, which is, okay, so when I don't know how to do, um, when I'm feeling overwhelmed with chaos, um, too many um, news things going off, on, uh, going on, it's easy for me to turn off my screen, to get out in nature, to go find out where the moon is that night, to go down to the water, to, to start to and blend, to cook outside, to take a picnic, to take some books, to take my meditation pillow. And so I'm taking all of these skills that go with the tools I have and I'm blending them and making something new. Making something new that didn't exist before. So that we continue to stretch and we continue to grow, okay? Number four, Learn what your body needs. Pay attention to your body. When you're overwhelmed, is do you need more water? When you're overwhelmed, do you need more um, overwhelmed and stressed? Do you need more rest? What does rest look like? Does it mean maybe you shorten your work day or you work really, really concentrated for two or three hours and then you take a much slower pace in the afternoon? It's all of the things that it takes for you to streamline your energy and find your own pace, find your own, um, your own rhythms. Because, you know, does this choppy, can you slow it down? Can you speed it up? Whatever it takes for you to be able to shut out this outer chaos, because it's just outer chaos. It has nothing to do with you. You are a bubble. You are your own resource, right? And so what we do is we stay present. And then we look around and we go, what, is, what do my kids need? What does my partner need? You know, how do I model this to them? How do I make some suggestions, okay? And number five, we're making this up as we go along. We have never used these tools before. These are brand new. Um, and so as we're, as we're um, blending and, and taking skills and, and, and bringing them in a, in a new way, um, what we do is we recalibrate. Oh, here comes the train, just when I was talking, right? We re recalibrate, we repair, we take those quiet times and we go like, okay, I don't feel the chaos right now. Now, for some of you, this full moon has tipped you over. For some of you, it's the Schumann. For some of you, it's the news. Find out how to get that space. Go to your center, figure out what you need, bring your tools up and adjust. So this chaos isn't going anywhere. I think that this is how we are going to develop our new future. And I'm gonna keep taking us through. What does that future maybe look like? What is possible? So you can um, get more videos like this on my website and you can also find me on YouTube and LinkedIn. Um, I'm Denise Dryden. You can find me at denisedrydencoaching.com and here comes the train. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.